Um, welcome to our first uh, meeting with Magnet on Zoom and also streaming live on Facebook. Um, sorry about the technical issues. It's the first time we've ever done this. We did have a rehearsal at 11 o'clock and it seemed to work perfectly. So today we've got Jill um, Davis, who's our, our account manager for the whole of LMPG. If there's um, any issues or anything's coming down from Magnet, um, Jill is our account manager and she looks after the whole of LMPG. And I am really delighted that we've got Andy Gold, uh, Gold sorry, who's the National <laughs> Sales Director. I, can't, I have called him Gold for the last 2012. And he corrected me today, he said, Nick, as we're doing a webinar, any chance that you could get my name right? I said, what do you mean? And he said, it's Gold. So, Andy Gord, and he's the National Sales Director for CKS, the Contract Division for Magnet, and he's the Senior Director, National Sales Director, as I said before. So, um, thanks very much for coming on. Um, and, and again, today was just to talk about some of the things that things, because of the uh, coronavirus, is things have had to uh, change so dramatically the members have been used to going into the branches and um, doing a design and then getting their kitchen that way. But over the last sort of eight to 12 weeks, it's been completely different. It's really going through a completely different process. But Andy, I was gonna ask you a question. Uh -huh. When the coronavirus, coronavirus started and it hit the whole world and we got locked down, what was your thoughts on how you were going to do business? Because I think members would be interested in what the process was and your well, think behind in what we did. We got um, something like 4,000 employees. So um, very, very quickly, we, we actually furloughed 80% of them. Uh, we closed the stores, we closed the factories um, under advice from the government. Uh, and um, the first two weeks we did absolutely well very little we did our skeleton staff and we were still trying to get some some bits and bobs out but it was proving very difficult and obviously we didn't want to be breaking any, any laws or or being inappropriate or being unsafe so initially um we really needed to see how it was going to settle down um what we found after a couple of weeks was that we could get some of the kitchens that had already been pre-ordered by members uh, from some of the stores, but we opened, I think, on we opened about 12 stores, 13 stores, on a collection-only basis. And that didn't yep. help with 170 stores because there's some of 160 something stores that had orders in and we couldn't get them out. We did try and deliver some direct from the factory, uh, but it became very apparent very quickly that we weren't going to be able to run a normal operation. So we had to rethink it. So we did. Okay. And then what happened? Well, uh, after a mild breakdown. <laughs> um, well, what we realized was that uh, well, no members or any, any of our customers could enter our stores. But of course, we were starting to get in the world of, of Zoom and we use Teams uh, in Magnet. We use Teams a lot. And what we thought was, well, there's some stuff we could be doing virtually. Um, so Jill... Uh, and her team, uh, in fact, it was just still to start with, and then we introduced um, additional people as they got busier to try and deal with members' requirements direct um, by getting some simple uh, information, um, doing a plan, using email uh, to start with, uh, and starting to get some kitchens ordered into stores that we can collect a kitchen from. So that's worked really, really well, I have to be honest. Uh, I think something like 48 kitchens or something were ordered for members last week. Uh, which is not bad considering that we haven't got a store open yet. We still haven't got a store open. Uh, they're only there for collection or for delivery. Um, so, uh, and Jill, you've got, I think, about another 73 or something on, on the go at the moment. You put your thumbs up if you're not on, if you're on mute. But yet, yeah, there's, there's a lot of people to do. But we're trying to prioritise um, members. So the members that want kitchens in the next three weeks, four weeks, yet yeah, they'll be done first. And then we'll, we'll try and slot people in along. We've got four people doing this at the moment. Jill will explain a little bit more about virtual planning. Um, so at the moment, we're doing okay. And we're, we're, we're managing to get all the kitchens out that members need. And I think we've done a pretty good job. And 
that's down to Jill and her team have done a, a, an amazing job, really. You mute, Nick. Is that we now put the whole process through Jill's team. Yes? Yeah, I missed the so, first part of that question, but yeah, we're, at the moment, because we haven't got a store open, we can't use the usual process, which is normally go into a store, say you're a member, talk to one of our designers and go through the process that way. We don't yeah. have any designers in stores doing that right now. We don't have a retail business or a trade business that's open. And uh, although we will be open, reopening stores fairly soon, I don't anticipate it's going back to that system uh, anytime soon. At the moment, we're going to have to, uh, I say muddle through, I actually think the service that, Jill's provided has been better than the service we provided beforehand, but I'm sure members will have a question on that. Look, she's smiling at me now. Thanks for picking me up, Andy. Uh, but it's true. It is true. The feedback so far has been fantastic. So long may it continue. And I think as questions come in from members, it certainly opened my eyes to what potentially we could be doing to change our, 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 our service proviso to you guys. And it's something we need to investigate further. Yeah, one of the questions I've just got, somebody said, can everybody mute themselves, yeah, except for Jill, Andy, and Anthony. Anthony, can you try and unmute yourself, yes? I've, well, I've, I've discarded the headset now, so hopefully people... Ah, you're, you're in the room. Yeah, I can hear you perfectly now. Brilliant, okay. thank you so much. And, and one of the things is so that people are totally aware of what's happening is that what we need all members to do is... And Jill, please interrupt me on this because the, the dialogue between both of us is really important, is that members need to email you, yes, and with the measurements and a kind of rough outline of what they're looking for. Am I correct in saying that? You are, yeah. There is a link on the um, Facebook, but when we receive an email from um, a member, what we actually do is we actually send the link so it's a detail sheet asking them to fill in when they need the kitchen, what their membership number is, what the property address is, has it been uploaded onto your portfolio and all the kitchen ranges. Because without that, we actually can't start the kitchen design. Right. One of the big things that I've learned over the last sort of three weeks, Jill, is when they need the kitchen. Because what has happened is that people don't need kitchens like for two, three months down the line. And because they're being dealt with as they come in, yes, that we need a date on when you're going to need that kitchen. And the reason for is people who need a kitchen like three weeks time are still not being looked at because we have so many other um, people emailing in saying I need a kitchen design done. So really we, what we want to do is get to a date order. Would that help? It would help. What, what's happening, people are saying that they want their kitchens and we've actually got kitchens in store where people said that they want them and they're not ready for them because their trades have let them down. Well, that, that's really no good to us because what we actually need is if you sent us an email and you haven't, we, you haven't received a reply from us and it is urgent, please phone you know, at Tracy and we have a, you know, a telephone call in every day at two o'clock and we will deal with the urgent cases if we haven't captured them. So let me re-clarify that. So what we're saying is that we send in, the members send an email in, yes, with their measurements, etc. Yes, and there yep. is a link on how to design roughly a, a kitchen. And then what happens is if you have not heard from Jill's team within four working days, you are to email or ring LMPG. And every day, Tracy has a conference call going through all the people that haven't heard. Yes. And one thing I'm, I have noticed this week is that the call seem to be getting very quick with you and Tracy, because I would assume that is with that we're getting on top of it now. We are getting on top of it. We've got about 91 separate individual designs to do. So... There's probably about 30 waiting to be done. There's 23 in progress. We're waiting for customers to come back to us. You know, we've asked questions too. And we've got one redesign and that's all we've got. So, the, you know what I mean? It's, it's really healthy and we're really on top of it. And Krish and Hannah and Cheryl, 
and Jerry in the background, they're doing a marvellous job, all of them. Are, I can't thank them enough for what they're doing. They really are. They're working all hours around the clock just to make sure that people are getting seen too. So apologies if we've missed anybody out. It's not intentional. You know, we're just dealing with the screeners that are coming in. So if you email Tracy or contact Tracy at LMPG, we will deal with yours. We will prioritise yours. But please be, you know, mindful that we do need to know that that kitchen is required within two weeks. Yeah, no, I totally got that. Yes. Yeah. So, and 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 people that think, oh, are oh, are people really working hard? I've spoken to her on a Saturday where she's doing designs. So please, that magnet are working really hard. And I'm not just saying that. Yes, uh, they really are. And what's really really important is the amount of kitchens that are going out. So I know that it is actually working. And the great thing is. And this is the one thing that saves us LMPG staff a lot of time is we haven't got a read really quote or the quote's not incorrect. The quotes that you're getting from Jill's team are correct because they're taking the soft closes off. Yeah. And leaving the soft clothes on the draw packs. Yeah. Now, some people want soft clothes. And if you do, please put, I want my soft closes left on because under LMPG, we try to take the soft clothes off because it brings the price down. Okay, and the other thing that's important is what style of kitchen do you want? Okay, do you want the band two, band three, band one? Yes, so there is a brochure on our website. Have a look. Yeah, I do apologize that you cannot go into magnet stores. Andy, very quickly, how quickly do you think it will be that members that are new to this want to kind of touch and feel that the kitchens? Because I I, I do. I like to. I love going into magnet showrooms. Yeah. Can you tell me when will the stores be open, or is that just an ongoing process? No, no. We we've trialed some stores this week. Uh, we've trialed fifteen stores this week. Obviously, you'd appreciate. We've got to get everything appropriate in the store for social distancing. Uh, we have to put the point of sale in. We have to have everything right. Uh, and um, clients are not. Uh, asked to just turn up willy nilly. This there has to be an appointed time, so we don't have lots of people in the store. I anticipate I mean, no, that will ease as uh, as, July, as June goes on. Um, but right now, I would ask that um, if you want to go to a store, we don't know which ones will be opening. We'll we'll make that clearer in the next uh, week or so. As I know more, we will feed that back through the LMPG website and through Jill, uh, and we'll let you know which ones you can visit and how you go about visiting a store. Um, but it's good. it's going to be another, probably another couple of weeks um, if you want to go and touchy feely, which I, I fully appreciate. You know, of course you do. That's uh, that's why we spend a lot of money on making stores look so fantastic. So, okay, Anthony, um, because I see an awful lot of questions coming through. Yeah, I was just going to say we've got a, a lot coming in. Yeah, can we start going through some of the questions and be answered um, with with the magnet COVID nineteen page that we have on our website so i'll just share the screen on to that we can see here hopefully that's showing and a lot of members should be familiar with this already but um in terms of the contact details we've got everything here and then what uh, jill mentioned earlier on was uh, a full sort of checklist that we have of what you need to include in your email to make sure that the process is as quick as possible now we've got that all on the LMPG website. Um, it's just sort of loading up here. I don't know if it's actually going to show. Oh, there it is. We got there eventually. So you can get one of those, print it off, and just use it as a checklist as you as you send your email, just to make sure that you've got all of the information uh, to follow the processes that that Jill mentioned. Okay, that's really really good. Okay. So can we get some through some of the questions, please? Yes, of course. So uh, another one now, this is something that I, I received just as we sort of promoted the event and that's uh, what is the best value kitchen range? And I think probably Andy is the best person to speak to about this one. Well, listen, the whole point here is what best value may not necessarily be the cheapest. We have some ranges uh, in price band one, which are around about 10% cheaper than, than, than the Lunas and the, the Novas, which are price band two. Later in the year, we're actually going to introduce a, a, a further um, cheaper range, which we won't go into details now because we're still working on it. But um, 
uh, we, we will have a, a almost like a price band half, if you will. Um, but look, overall, Nick's a big advocate of price band too because it's a decent quality door. You're going to get longevity out of a product like that, and I'm not going to argue against him. Uh, each has their own whether they want handleless, whether you want handled. You know, who am I to say? But price band two is is uh, is a good value for money product. But if you want just the cheap and cheerful, and you want the better, which is the Greenwich Howdens look alikey. That's a strata product of which we do in about sort of circa six or seven colours. So, look, you know, it's question what you wanted to do, but 10% more, it's not 10% of the whole kitchen, remember, it's only 10% of the cabinetry, because the sinks and the taps and the worktops and all that stay the same. So, overall, typically, you might pay 80 to 100 pounds more for a price band too, and I would probably stick to that. But if you want to go um, just on a price point, strata price band one, there's nothing wrong with it. It has the same guarantee that all our other products have. They are, Nick. I was quite diplomatic about it. You were very diplomatic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and one of the things is that I, we've never had one in, we've been with you now, what, six and a half years, Andy? Yeah. Yeah. I had, uh, I had blonde hair and I was three stone lighter, Nick. Look what you've done to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You should have heard what I said Jill, to Andy when I saw him. I hadn't Jill, seen him for Jill, about Jill, three Jill, months. Jill's Jill still got blonde hair, but hers is in a bottle. Yeah. And I said to Andy, I said, Andy, mate, I, the cameras never lie. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we just not be a personal uh, for <laughs> 75 members? Oh, I think I think now's probably a good time to interrupt with another question. And oh, well done, Nick. Well done, uh, Anthony, rather. I think that would be just, just a clarification on what you just said there, Andy. Uh, did Nick say, oh, sorry, it was Nick. Did Nick say that soft close isn't standard on an MPG? No, it is standard, yes but Jill and our team take it off the doors to regular and put it regular on it. So it's, yeah, it's still something you need to ask for. Uh, yes. Okay, so, lovely. moving on. Um, I have soft close hinges, guys, boys and girls. Honestly, the cost differential's negligible. It's a built-in soft close hinge. For another few quid, you get a far superior product. By all means, if it's cost sensitive, then take it off, but... I, for the life of me, wouldn't understand why anybody would do that. Andy, Andy, I would be happy to put soft closes in. And as I do kitchens all day long, is that it's not just a few quid. The old one was... On the, on the, on the, hinges, on the hinges it is, Nick, it's just the drawers that are expensive. Okay. Uh, so moving from, from something quite specific, something quite broad, um, a couple of people have asked this. Uh, I've got a question in the chat about one store in particular. Uh, yeah. but, but really, the, the question is, why do things sometimes still go wrong uh, with the branch network, whether that's now or whether that's, uh, you know, in, in, in normal times, as it were? Yeah, I, I think that's a, and it's a very, very fair question. And I had some, uh, I can't remember the name of the chap who was on last on, on uh, Facebook last night who wanted the answer to this question. Look, here's the deal. We've got, we've got 200 odd stores. We have a turnover of staff over a period of time that some of them, as they come in and they we replace people as they move their, through their careers, don't fully understand the LMPG way. They may not understand the, fully the procedure. We've also, be fair to say, got some stores that are, aren't, I wouldn't say anti, none of them are anti, but I would say that some of them are perhaps less enthusiastic. I could name you 20, I could name you 20 stores now that absolutely, or I could, do, I could name you about 50 or 60, who absolutely love LMPG orders, and I'll tell you for why. LMPG orders, they're not inquiries, they're orders. They're not, you know, they're not people speculating about whether they should buy a kitchen from Magnet. They're almost always, 95% are nailed on orders, so they know they're not wasting their time. Some stores are, a little, listen, perhaps a little bit naive, and, and, uh, and, I'm, and I'm, it's one of the things that I'm thinking about is how we try and improve that. And I, I'm never... I'm not going to apologise for those stores. I think some of the some of the experiences that some members get is rubbish. Um, but I think generally speaking, we're pretty good. Can we improve? Yes. Do we, for example, pick 50 stores, 30 stores across the UK, which would do 90% of members' kitchens, where we know that service is par excellence and we know that everything will be the way it should be? Okay, well, that's something to debate and something to discuss. Um, if you take 50 stores geographically, every member will be within 10 or 15 miles of a store so maybe we do that that might improve things um there's a few other things i'm looking at with jill too to try and improve things going forward i think using her team as an initial point of contact has worked really really well 
Um, but I need to make sure that I'm not doubling up on people. You'd appreciate one of the reasons we keep the prices down um, in contracts is because we, uh, we have low margins, um, but we have big volume. So I can't put a bucket load of people in and keep the same prices. So, uh, but I do think there's a, I do think we can do something with, with um, a first point of contact and maybe Jill's team um, designate stores or individuals to help members. And I think that might improve things. Do you know what? I think we've got a hit rate in, in the nineties, you know, the percentage wise, the, the, the level of, um, of issues and complaints are, I bet we don't get three or four a month. We're selling 4,000 kitchens a year to you guys. 4,000 kitchens and we get two or three issues a month. Um, I'm not defending the, the two issues, but it's not a bad hit rate, but we can still get better. Yeah, Andy, I, and again, because I'm the, my team is the one that get the brunt end of that. Um, I, I totally agree that over the last 12 months, it re, the percentage has come down. But what really is frustrating is that sometimes just the way that LMPG members get talked to in store. Now, uh, I know, I, I know that some members, yes, yeah. um, it's just like on all walks of life. Two people yeah. meet, they're not going to get on no matter what you do to them two people. Yeah. It's a personality clash. But it does, sometimes you walk into a branch and, and then they, and they look at you as if you're yeah. just like a second class yeah. citizen. Yeah, and I can't, I can't be in all, we can't be in all places all the time. The regional directors that run the stores, of course, they understand the importance of LMPG to Magnet, and it is our single biggest uh, account, actually, um, um, which you know, Nick, but maybe members be interested to know. So we haven't got, uh, we don't want to be faffing around and making, uh, making huge errors and, uh, and, uh, and winding a lot of customers up. There is some, there is some, um, some personality clashes, let's say occasionally, but that's the same in any walk of life. Um, generally speaking, I think the experience is pretty good. I'm not defending it. I'm not doing a Boris. I'm saying, well, we need to get better. Um, and um, uh, we've got some thoughts and this COVID thing has made us really think about how we can improve things um, as we come out of this. And, uh, and uh, I can't give you the answer right now because I think we need to investigate it, talk to you, Nick, and, and to your team and see what works. We'll probably, we could put questionnaires out to members. How would this work? Would this be better for you? Would it be worse? But um, look, I mean, one of the things let's, let's, just, continue, I've, let's continue to improve. That's the point. I've got one of the questions up uh, from a, a lady called Vicky. She says, "Please don't Vicky take that off me." Yeah, she is. Asked, I can see you, Vicky. Vicky Parsons, wave. Yes. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know that was you, Vicky. Sorry, I, you're Sorry. right in front of me. I've got four people on my screen, and you're one of them. Nikki, I, I, I spotted all, you, Nikki. I spotted one, you. One of the things is that that me and Andy do argue. I mean, and please, members, we yeah. go in because one of the things that Andy and I are always on the same hymn uh, him sheet about is about quality service. That and and I said to Andy is that. If people want to go and use the branch because you have a great relationship, please carry on doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Yes? Yeah, yeah. But maybe for your first time of using Magnet and LMPG is that sometimes that might go through Jill just as an introduction to do the design. Oh. What's, Vicky, what's, 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 what's Vicky's experience? Look, Vicky, unmute yourself. You don't mind. If you don't, if you don't want to, tell me you get lost. But what's your experience? What store do you use? Derby. Derby. Uh, Tony, yeah. Allen, Tony Allen's the manager of Derby. Yeah, but it's Gary I tend to use, um, okay. and he's absolutely amazing. Nothing is too much trouble. In fact, during lockdown, I came to you, Jill, because I got a kitchen that we'd already ordered um, that hadn't been delivered. And I don't know if you remember, Jill, I'm sure you don't because you'll have had that many emails, but um, you kind of came back to me, and I so, the, 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 we decided the best thing for me to do was to ring Derby Direct, which is exactly what I did. They, they arranged delivery of it. I've since had a load of ARCA Triv and everything. They're just, they're just absolutely brilliant. You know, I just got on with them really well. And I understand you might just want to sort of streamline to less no, stores. Not, but... v Vicky, you've made a very good point here because initially we thought, well, we could change the system. But for people like you, you don't want to change the system. No. You've already got a relationship. You get on really well. They understand when you walk in, you're a member, and they give you and they treat you respect. So we don't want to change things for the sake of it. To, to once we've a phrase, balls up a relationship you've already got. That would be silly, wouldn't it? So, hmm. but by the way, the checks in the post. Uh, we didn't pick up, by the way, everybody. 
<laughs> I just <laughs> someone, a question. If someone wants to shout at me now, that's fine. But uh, no, that's good the experience. I know no, Derby I think, well. I think we've got, uh, I mean, I used to done Derby for me. A few people in the chat, really, sort of being yeah. up, uh, their local stores, which is great. Obviously, we've got one or two people uh, that you know are interested in the new system as well, and that's fine. But yeah, moving on. There's there's a yeah. couple of questions about uh, introducing Amex payments. I think this was brought up maybe two or three months ago, and and, and might be on the back burner at the minute. Oh, do you know what? You've caught me out there. I thought stores were taking Amex now. Uh, can, right, can, I, I'm going to have to take this one offline because I don't know the answer. I don't get, we don't get involved in payments, particularly, uh, uh, you know, from our perspective, we plan them and design them and then the stores take Amex the Amex will be today, Andy, because I'm talking say, say to Amex. And no, they are talking to you, yes. Yeah. Um, and that's it. They're talking to you. They wouldn't give me any more details because obviously confidential. Okay, well, no, but I can give you a better answer than that they think they're talking to us. If we take it offline, we'll post the answer on the, on the website, um, Anthony. Presumably we know who's been on this uh, session tonight and we can post the proper answers to that rather than me guess it because I ain't guessing stuff I don't know. Yeah. I can confirm Derby Arm because two weeks ago I couldn't pay on Amex. Okay, so we'll, we'll find... I'll, I'll, I don't know the... That's... that's um, that's an answer we're going to say above my pay grade, but it's not so much that. It's, it's not a decision that, that I get involved in, whether we use Amex or whether we don't. As I understand it with Amex, we used to pay quite a substantial fee to them. And I know back in the day when I used to use Amex in magnet stores, we binned Amex because they were charging us outrageous fees. Um, so given the fact that we're already giving you guys um, you know, a, a fantastic deal, and with margins which are the same deals that Barrett's pay, and I'm not joking, um, in fact, in many cases, you're paying actually slightly cheaper than Barrett's. So I was looking at that today. Um, and with Barrett Homes, I'm talking about. If we're going to pay Amex a fortune for using their facility, we won't. But I think things have changed, and I'll investigate and come back to you if that's okay. Okay, good. Uh, of course, well, just uh, another another question here. Um, coming back at you, Andy, uh, if soft oh. so highly recommended... Can Andy help by reducing the price to make it a no-brainer for LNPG members? I'll put you on the spot. I'm sorry, what was the question? I didn't hear that. What, they want the kitchen is even cheaper, Nick. Bloody hell. Soft what clothes. Can we away? reduce the price for soft clothes to make it a no-brainer? If they're so Andy, recommended. Andy, mate, I'm, t I'm, t I'm sorry to come back at you, but there's about anywhere between a 6 to 10% price increase on soft clothes. Jill could probably answer this better than I, but obviously soft clothes drawers is a we do a blum motion draw. I'm not talking about soft clothes drawers. They're okay. greatly priced. I'm really well, happy with them. All right. Well, let me ask. Let me ask Jill. She prices these every day, and I haven't priced one since 1976. So, so without being facetious, Jill, you give us a clue what what the price differential for for, for the soft clothes hinges. Unmute, Jill. Jill, unmute us. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I've done a few quotes just recently and they worked on, on average about £100. £100 a kitchen? Yeah, about okay. £1,700 kitchen. Okay, um, well look, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll have a look at this, but I'm telling you now, the money we make on LMPG, and I'm not, it sounds like I'm whinging, I'm seriously not, but we are not making, we make a lot of money out of you because you spend a lot of money. We don't make a lot of money out of individual kitchens. So further reducing the prices, I'm sorry, is unlikely. Yes, I, I got that. I'm not asking for a change in pricing. Yes, because if we can just tweak that price on soft closes, it really becomes a no-brainer. Well, yeah, but, but not, 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 if it means, not if it means ultimately that Magnet continue to, to, to erode their margins. No, so, I totally get that, Andy, and I'm so, not pushing But I'll I tell you what I'll do. I'll, let's, let's leave this at this stage. Again, there are questions from this call. Sorry, the sun's starting to shine through my roof here, and I'm starting to get... I've moved around my conservatory a bit now. I mean, I'm over here in a minute. Um, uh, we will look at that and see if, we can, if there's any solution and whether or not there's some reduction uh, in that that will uphold what we need to do and increase the penetration of, of, of soft clothes. But something we'll take outside, and we'll answer that back on the Q&A um which i'm sure anthony can sort out with yeah, Jill this, is, this is being streamed on our facebook group as well so any yeah, okay well look well, it, uh, it, would be, it would be it would be not uh, be inappropriate to say no get lost i think the appropriate answer is let's have a look at it and see if we can do something 
Lovely. Yeah, brilliant, Andy. Um, and, and I hope members see that, that Andy and I will have an open discussion and we don't always agree. So, because you're always wrong. Oh, will you just shut up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, we've got Sorry. another question, quite a good one here, actually. Oh, well, I'll be the judge of that. You're wrong. <laughs> Where can we get the spec of the doors for each kitchen? Jilly. They're on your website. I gave them to you, Anthony. CDL. <laughs> I didn't ask you the question, Jill. You could, have, you could have answered the question, Anthony. You already have the information. They may, they may or may not be on our website. I'll double check that tomorrow. Uh, yeah. I think they probably are. But they are. Oh, Anthony! <laughs> I hope. I feel better now. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't be doing this next week. <laughs> no, <laughs> joking, joking aside, no, in all seriousness, members need to understand the difference between the makeup of a door and what they're paying for. So it's important that that information is available. Is it a chipboard door? Is it a vinyl wrap door? Is it an ABS edging? Is it a PVC edging? And those and guys and, and boys and girls can decide from that what they want to spend. But it's a completely appropriate question, and that information, if it isn't available, needs to be available. So it will be. Andy, sorry, um, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Andy's just shot you as well. Yeah, no, I'm getting roasted in the comments as well. So I'm really glad that I brought it up. I haven't shot him. No, I like him. Also, the brochure, Anthony. Yes, and, and I don't know if it's been renewed. We've got a question from uh, Lolly um, that the brochure is 2019. Yeah. Has there been an updated one? Okay. Oh, good question. Right, okay. Um, so... Uh, we were launching the new brochure. We're, we're doing a bit of an amalgamation of ranges at the moment. Um, there are some new ranges available in the stores, which are available to members all except for the fully painted door, which I'm, if anybody wants to know about, I'll tell you about, but let's not go there. It's a nightmare. Not, it's not the product's not a nightmare, but it's not appropriate, I don't think, for, no. and it's not part of our offer to you guys. Um, so there are some additional ranges. It is being updated, and there will be a new brochure. It would have been arriving about now. But obviously, we've had a few problems, as we'll all be aware. So I anticipate we're going to have a new brochure. It will probably now be end of the summer, autumn. Um, but um, information's on our website, the Magnet website of all the ranges. So you will have that information should you wish to see new colours. There's lots of more greys. There's more blues. Greens are back in again now. Greens are starting to come, come, come to the fore. So um, please, please uh, come on. Green bathroom suites. Pardon? Sorry, like green bathroom suites. <laughs> avocado. Yeah. Okay, nice. Avocado back in the 70s, yeah. I don't remember them. Right. Um, everybody's very, everybody's very quiet. I thought we'd have members talking to me. I'm a bit disappointed with our people. Well, on to be honest, Andy, I've muted everyone because <laughs> I'm it's really a little bit easier. But um, I've, got, I've got a question here. Uh, can, can you cover delivery prices and why some are expensive? Or perhaps, or, or perhaps the designer just throws a number in the quotes? Okay. It do tend to go up and down. This, uh, probably the most asked question of, of any member ever. So, so almost all of our stores uh, use outside transport for deliveries. The stores are challenged with recovering 100% of any cost of deliveries to any deliveries, whether it be trade, retail, LMPG members, whatever it may be. Um, and I do appreciate that that, that prices can vary between 50 and 100 pounds. Now, sometimes that can be down to uh, a region, as in, in London, it tends to be more expensive. So sometimes it can be down to it's two man delivery and not one man delivery, which can affect the price. Sometimes it's down to that's the local best price they can get. And I haven't got a really good answer. What I tried to do with Nick some time ago was have a standard price. But when we worked it out, a standard price, it meant that 70% of members were gonna pay more. And only 30% of members was going to be, were going to be better off. So it continues to be a bit of a sticking point. I'm not going to uh, deny it. Um, members, of course, can find them. What they've done this time with, with COVID is they've hired a van for a dump, sometimes cheaper than they can get it delivered, and they've collected them. We are a contract business. We are not a retail or a trade business. Um, you are getting, uh, I reiterate, you're getting prices that, 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 that housing associations, major builders, developers are getting and so delivery is not free it's just a local service it's what the manager negotiates with local hauliers i know in some cases it's not it's not great 
we have stepped in where we felt it was being up where people were being un, unfair or or m- members were being um unfairly treated we felt and we've dealt with that so yeah it is flexible that's because it's not our fit not our our, our delivery service and around the country it can change and of course it could also depend on 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 how far the delivery is from from the store but i've had some stinkers i've had people saying well i live around the corner and they want to charge me 100 quid we'll get involved if we really think that it's grossly unfair but 50 to 70 pounds is typical okay and i think just read the questions out yeah of course um so one i neglected to mention earlier on uh, would it be possible to get samples of door colors worktops as branches are reluctant to provide them or loan them sometimes you need to see them in situ you can buy them um stores don't uh, we don't give re- our retail customers that pay twice the price that members pay don't get um, um they might be loaned a door and be charged for it and then they can have that uh, refunded when they order the kitchen uh, on a local basis uh, we don't really have a lot of worktop swatches um i'm sorry we don't really have that facility um to take but again uh, uh, some stores may be better than others um you know I, I, unless jill's got a better answer than that but no, not really. you know if you want to buy a door and then return it then fine uh, well actually that leads on quite well to to the next question and something that i believe was asked of you in our last webinar that we did about um, a year and a half ago. Um, a member had a strata draw pack left over from a previous project. Would have been perfect for the lunar kitchen they just bought if they could have just bought frontals, but they were quoted 170 pounds for the frontals and only 130 pounds for the draw pack. Yeah. Um, is there a way to get spare parts? Uh, uh, yeah, the, uh, in my opinion, the store was being unreasonable and they should have dealt with it. And if that was, a scenario then we'd like to think that one of our team would step in and sort that out for you. Okay. Yes, they, yeah, Andy, um, under the personal circumstances, I just, I spoke to the member myself on that one. I think it's the same member was that I couldn't do anything. My hands were tied at that particular point. So uh, member, I did, if it's you, I did speak to you and I apologize that there's nothing I could do at that particular moment, but we were in extreme circumstances in that point. So that one lands on my lap, no one else's. We, 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 there's a reason why the uh, frontals <clears throat> are, are, mis, are mispriced, as in expensive. It's to stop um, some stores fudging deal, fudging stuff and trying to get away with ordering it one way and a different way. And over the years, they've tried all sorts of stuff. But the long and the short of it is, um, we don't want to see it being unfair to anybody um but we do sell cabinetry with frontals we don't sell cabinets only and we don't sell frontals only as a rule but again we need to be reasonable so i'm sure we can sort something out some of our major issues okay great from the governor okay lovely so they've just they've jumped on and said it's it's not the it's not the same member but uh should they speak to jill i think the probably the best thing to do would be to send uh, an email over to membership at lmpg and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll take this up. Uh, what, 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 I, what I'd like to remem- remind members is, that I, and I do reiterate this an awful lot, that Jill is not the be all and end all here. Well, she is obviously, but um, we have got 23 sales managers across the UK who personally benefit from the sales of LMPG business. And they are there to support and help members who have got questions. Every single store has got a contract manager who is, purport- who is uh, um, um, associated with that store. Uh, that information is on the website and you can ring those guys and boys and girls and ask for advice and they are there to help and they will help. So please, it's not all about Jill because if she takes in from calls or, or emails on 4,000 kitchens we sell, trust me, there will be a snag. There's people out there. We've got a massive um, uh, network of people out there to help every single member, not just Jill. I, and I know that. And, and a comment was that a member's just come up said I wasn't treated very nicely. And is the guy I won't say his surname, but I'll say Ben. Ben, me and Jill speak probably three or four times a week, and that's on a that, that's on a good week. Yes, um, and Jill jumps on it. Yeah, Jill jumps all over it. So if anybody's got any really major issue, and this is what I can't quite understand. I'm going to be honest with everybody. What I can't understand. 
you walk into a branch, you're not treated, let's say, and then you go walking back in there again. It's like putting you it's like picking putting you in other your head in an oven twice. You'd only do it once. So if you get a bad experience, say thank you very much, walk out, pick the phone up as you're driving home, talk to us, and we will contact Jill. But like I said, it does happen sometimes, and I do apologize. If I had no issues, it'd be brilliant. I wouldn't have to do anything. Well, well, it's not, I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it either, Nick. Clearly, but as I said, if we, if all we ever do is ring Jill, she's never going to do. No, it. ring us. And 20, we, I speak to Jill. No, I'll 20, speak to the branch. There are twenty three sales managers, twenty three, who are responsible for LMPG um, uh, orders in the field. Twenty three, twenty three phone numbers and twenty three email addresses, and every store has one. That's what members should go to first. Oh, Andy, I totally, I totally agree with you there. You just go to Jill, then it's going to get snagged up. Using, you know, I was so. going to use in Jill as a as reference. I don't always ring Jill. I will ring uh, uh, Paul. I will ring uh, oh Christine. Oh, I will ring. Ta- Paul. You ring Tara most of the time, Nick. To be fair. Oh, will you just stop it, Andy? You're such a stirrer. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but there's people that like to help you. Yeah, absolutely, and I know there is. But what I'm trying to get over, you hit a problem or someone, if there's a problem that a door is missing, no, you deal with a branch. But if you're being spoken to in a way that you don't like, don't put your head in the oven again. Absolutely. No, I, I'm, I, listen, and, I, and we'll deal with that. It's not acceptable and we'll deal with it. All right. Uh, so Any more? Just, uh, there's, a, there's a couple more questions, but I know you're a, you're a busy man, Andy. Um, what's the difference? Well, I haven't had my tea yet. Flooring you're right. doors. <laughs> Say again. Discounts on windows and flooring and doors. Right. So um, I, I, I run the kitchen operation for Magnet um, across all the contracts of um, uh, well, two companies now, but I won't go into that now. But um, the stores are responsible for the doors and joinery within, within its store. We buy in everything that we sell in our stores, as does Howden's, as does Juicen's, as does Travis Perkins. Nobody manufactures their own. They're manufactured by not that many manufacturers that are either in the country or even in, in, in the world, fully enough. So, for example, the doors that we sell are often sold by Howden's, Juicen's, Travis Perkins. The, the managers want to do a deal. They want to have your business. They want to do, they want to negotiate. They want to tr- try and do the best. We, we, have, we have set this now. We're changing the, pr- the, the pricing policy within Magnet Trade is changing. Um, we're trying to produce, we're trying to have prices which don't carry huge discounts anymore, just small discounts for, 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 for account holders and members who are on this call. Just speak to the branch managers and say, look, I'm an LMPG member. I want 20 or 10 or Mexicana doors. What's the best price you can do? Because he knows that if you don't give me the best price, you're going to go and buy from somewhere else. So look, talk to them about we've got our flooring is very well, very, very competitive. Our doors are mainly LPD, which is Leeds Plywoods doors, which a lot buy from. Uh, we've got a very good relationship with those guys. Windows, we're not so much in windows anymore. Um, but we also do first fix. I noticed that we did some some board finish. We still do plasterboard, we still do skirting boards and architraves and casings. You now that's where I was brought up on in Magnet when I first started. Those products are still available. They're highly competitive. Can you get them a quick, couple of quid cheaper down the road? Maybe on one day you can, and maybe the following day magnet's cheaper again. Ask, talk to your man, talk to the local managers, get the relationship. As we talked to that young lady, talked to us, but uh, Vicky talked to us about before. Get that relationship, and you will get the best deal. I guarantee you will. They want your business. Flooring, we've got, we're brilliant for flooring. So it's not a kitchen contract thing. I can't be responsible for it. Deal on a local level. Andy, I've got a good question. I don't even know the answer to this one. Um, <laughs> somebody's asked about why don't you do uh, above three meters, three point six worktops? Because it's health and safety's a nightmare. Is it? Yeah, too heavy. Oh, I did not know the answer to that question. Just health, health and safety, is it? Maybe to, well, four, four meter worktop. I mean, let's be honest. If you got a four meter run, blimey, O'Reilly. Um, so, but no, 3.6s can be managed by two, and it gets to the stage where it's been it's ridiculous, uh, and you can't have one person carry it. At two people, it goes over a different weight, um, and it's also a night game to deal with. 
We've never done four metre word tops in the 35 years I've been working for the company. We never will. 3.6 is the biggest we ought to do. Yeah, I've got to say this because I've got a big advert for LMPG. Wayne, you have an issue with a contract manager, you and me. Just had to say that. Okay, well, are you seeing things I'm not, Nicholas? Yes. Excellent. <laughs> it always is. Yeah, um, I think probably the, the, the final question, um, final question for the night. Um, oh, God, we haven't finished yet. I, look, I get Andy once a year. So it must sound a bit longer. Well, even you said 45 minutes. Go on, anyway, carry on, that's fine. Um, but the, the more specific ones, I think, is worth just saying that we'll, you know, we will get back to you on that. It's just we, I'm trying to cover off the more general questions to, to try and provide the most value here. Um, so uh, it's, it's something that's, that's gone around LMPG quite a lot in the last few weeks. Is there any supplied multi-finish from Magnet? It's multi-finish plaster. Again, we're going down the joinery line, which I'm not, you know, but gypsum's had a nightmare. We do board finish. We do so in some stores. We don't do in some in other stores. We deal on a local level. I'm not being horrible here, but I'm not getting involved in plaster board and plaster prices. I sell five million quids worth of kitchens to you guys, and that's what I'm here for. Yeah. Okay. So can we come back to now then, just sort of the last 10 minutes? Yeah. Can we just talk about the process of, we've gone through the new process. Okay, um, up to the point of the design, yeah? And this is, I'm gonna bring Jill back in on this. So Jill, I've got my design, yeah? Yeah. I'm happy with it. What do I do now? Okay, so, well, what people are doing is, we're obviously doing the design, once somebody likes their kitchen, the design and everything, and they pick the range, we then will do a quote, so that that will save us ordering the wrong kitchen or whatever, so we do need to know that, okay? So yep, once, once, they, once they've got that kitchen and they want to order it, they literally email us back and just ask us to order that kitchen. And then what we do is, I, I'm doing all the ordering, so I will email the branch, I will copy the, get the member in, and I will ask for dates for when the kitchen's going to be um, delivered. So what the branch will actually do is they will actually contact um, the customer to take payments and they will arrange a collection um, point and time. Obviously, we can't load. Um, we will put it on a pallet and they'll be given a specific, you know, um, time and date. Some branches are doing deliveries and we've noticed a big increase on the deliveries right now. And I would say 50-50 are doing collections and deliveries. So, um, you know, that's your members wanting to either collect or deliver. So, um, you know, we've seen a big spike now in the deliveries taking place. Okay, I've got two questions on that, Jill, and I don't know the answer to these questions, so I need to know. Um, how long does a member wait until they don't get a phone call? What I'm trying to say is that if a member doesn't get a phone call one day, two days, three days, a week, how long should it take a branch to ring a, uh, an LMPG member to pay for that kitchen? Um, what you've got to bear in mind, Nick, is all the branches are on skeleton staff so there is, there's only two members of staff sometimes in the branches yeah. so what you've got to bear in mind is they're busy offloading vehicles putting all those pallets away because obviously the doors come on one pallet the carcasses on another the handles yeah. work parts, whatever so they're busy behind the you know scenes collating orders and things like that and you will notice that they're not answering the phone because they are busy yeah. um so what i would suggest is and a lot of members are doing this, if they haven't heard from them, I am actually looking on the screen to see what date the kitchen is actually arriving in, and I can give them an expected date. So usually, say for instance, your kitchen's due in on the 1st of June, usually by the 3rd of June, they're wanting that to be collected, or if it's been arranged that it's gonna be delivered. Okay, but when, so what I'm trying to get to is that, do they wait two weeks, do they wait a week to, to pay what? for the kitchen? Well, in some cases, the branches are actually taking payments before delivery or before collections. I have got a few branches that are just too busy and they're literally taking the payment. And I know that most of the members are chomping at the bit, wanting to part with their money. And ideally, in the perfect world, that that's what we would want to happen. But it's just the manpower at the moment, the resources that we've got at stores. They are ordering the kitchens and I'm checking like every few hours to make sure the kitchens are ordered. Yeah, no, no, yeah, I totally get that. But what I'm trying to do is that otherwise, if, if, if we 
that members know that after four days, if they haven't heard anything from your department, yes, yep. they ring us. Yep. What I'm saying to you is to stop that phone call coming into you. Yes. Yep. Should a member wait two, three, four, five, six a week for the branch to for the to make payment? Because after that time, they're going to start contacting us after a day. I know what my members are like. So how long should they wait before contacting us? Four days. Four days. That's what yeah. I want. Can you wait five days, please? <laughs> well, that's, uh, I think it's probably worth mentioning uh, working days. So, you know, like the rest of us, uh, Jill and the team, and, and, and us at LMPG as well, you know, we like, we like to spend the weekends not going through kitchen quotes if we, if we can help it. No, but we don't anymore because Jill's, I mean, I haven't looked at one kitchen quote that a member's put in that they weren't happy with, which is a total revelation. The, yeah, the quotes yeah. are correct, and which is Jill. And I must say that you are doing, and Chris now, on behalf of all my members, I would just really like to say a big thank you for all the support that you have given members. And I really do mean that. You have gone way above what I thought you would do or Magnet would do. And, and I'm really proud to say that LMPG is a part of, or LM, Magnet, Magnet part of LMPG. It's been a real big pleasure and it really has. Um, and I, I just want to say that off, mm. off, off the record. Because well, what, we, uh, Nick, we've got, think, we've got members sounding off in the comments, agreeing with you on that. Um, and Krishna as well, um, who's part of yeah. your team also commented on the on the live stream and just said thanks to all members for the patience during this time so i think it goes both ways i'm putting an overtime out. claim form in <laughs> what do you say i'm putting an overtime claim form in working at this time of night jesus Christ. <laughs> well I, no i think that's a that's yeah, a really great way to end it really a nice positive way but um i'll review all the questions that we've got here and if anything outstanding then We'll make sure. Before the members start all shooting off, can I just I, have a... Um, can, I, can, I, can I just say a bit before you finish off? I think yeah. um, we've had a few questions. I, I'm not convinced that all the questions have been asked and there's lots of members still, 65 members still on. Um, yeah. And can I ask that any questions that haven't been asked that come to me tomorrow uh, or as soon as possible and I will, we will do a, a catch-up to ensure that we've answered everybody because you've taken your time to join us um tonight and i'm um, just in case that I, I haven't answered anything i want to so please if it's not been answered now if you can let uh, is that okay anthony if you can let you yeah, know course, yeah. send me through the list and i will personally answer them but I, we'll, we'll 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 answer them on a global for everybody to to, to to have a look at um so yeah so uh, thanks for inviting me on and and it's been 18 months i'm quite happy to do this every few months nick it's not a problem to me no um, that would be really really good i just like to it is and also I'm going to shove up there, and you'll kill me after I say this. I saw some things that Andy and Magnet are playing around with. Is some of this like virtual um, appointments? It's not going to be for everybody, but I did see this virtual appointment and the way the design was done, and it was exceptionally good. It really was. I was really impressed. But there's a big cost exercise in this. So Andy and Jill are working on doing something like this. Yep. Um, not for every member, because some members still want to deal with branches, but a portion, especially if there's been a problem or whatever, the, the virtual appointment to help a design out or sort an issue out with a design is, I do think, is, is the way to go forward. It was, I saw it. Uh, there was an issue trying to get this design done for this member, Jill. It was brilliant. They were It, was. it, it helped. It does help. Yeah. Maybe. It went back and forth twice, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, it did. And within sort of half an hour the design was sorted out and it was ready to order within an hour so yeah it was really it was. and and on on behalf of lmpg as the owner of lmpg i'd just like to thank every lmpg member one for staying the course i know it's tough out there and i really do and sometimes i've posted and we've sent emails out and i know i've been criticized for this is that we put it out and then within 12 hours of us doing an email the rules have changed on us and they said, you can't put anything out because we don't want to know what the new rules are. So I'm in a real no man situation. Um, so please, if we get this wrong or get some things wrong over the next coming weeks, I do apologize. I only give the information the way I'm giving it to you. So I don't, 
smooth it around. Yes, the big thing was on plaster. We were told that email in and we could order it for you or we would put it aside. The MD came over the top of us uh, uh, to Jusons and told us you couldn't do that. And I said, well, what's the process? Well, we haven't got one. You just can't do that. So my hands are really tied. And I know I took some criticism for that. And I'll take it because we give it to you as we get it. And we give it to you the way we receive it. And we don't try and smooth things over. And one of the things on my Facebook that we try to do is we try, I don't try, we tell it how it is. I don't always get it right, but we work damn hard for us. And our, my staff are all working from home and they are working long hours. And sometimes you have to leave a message. We will get back to you, I promise you, as soon as possible. Today, we got back to everybody within 25 minutes of them leaving a message, because I checked. Yes, so please, yeah. if we don't, can't get hold of us, please bear with us, we will return the call, okay? And, and I hope everybody's enjoyed tonight, because we are gonna do Walsley, we are gonna do Johnston's, yeah? I'm waiting for them to come back to me. We will try to keep it within an hour, yes? Um, but is, Paul, is, Paul, is Paul Hilliard getting a haircut? That's all I want to know. Oh! <laughs> it's like, you look like, you look like our Garth Uncle. Jump on! Bright eyes burning like... Anyway, sorry. <laughs> all right, I'm going to have my dinner before I get divorced. Nice to see everybody. <laughs> Andy, thanks very much. And can I Cheers. just thank everybody for coming thanks, on? Jilly. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.